players just have their nice and cool names. Sonic Queen being Sonic Queen, obviously, love that. But we're seeing a really good, you know, very nice situation right now for Devin because he already put on 84%. Yeah, just like that. Um, that's so valuable against Sonic because you don't want him to ever like be able to like get a really hard, large percent lead. So just opening up with a huge combo against Sonic just sets the tone of the rest of the match, honestly. It does not let Sonic play that runaway game. That being said, Sonic Fiend, not really the most like campy runaway Sonic. He, he likes to scrap a bit for sure. Absolutely, and that's exactly what we're trying to see right now from Sonic Fiend. Sonic Fiend has been trying their best to scrap and trying to play neutral to the best of their ability without really using Spin Dash is what we're seeing. Just to kind of, you know, move and drift from side to side without really trying to interact too much because they know if they want to interact with, you know, Ivysaur, it's going to have to be on their terms, not on, you know, whatever terms Devin wants to kind of create with a lot of their situations. Right here, whoever takes the first stock, it's really important for the rest of the game when Sonic's involved. Because, uh, like I was saying earlier with opening the combo, Sonic dictates the pace of the match so differently when he has to leave. So if you can close out the first stock, it, it can totally change how a Sonic plays. And it can kind of just like collapse under being able to not camp, you know. Absolutely. And we're seeing a little bit of that right now. Oh. Very risky from Devin, and it will pay off. Getting that fourth, though, killing at 180%, if I believe. I love that move. Charizard just flings his whole neck forward. Oh, tosses Sonic to his death. And I like the choice to say Charizard here. You want to live for as long as possible, and you don't. <laughs> Well, that was looking like a very unfortunate high recovery right there for Devin because now we're kind of at an even percent and we have to find a situation where, you know, Devin can kind of just put on that damage again, you know, did really good at the beginning of the game and definitely showed us that they have the ability to do that. But only at, you know, very smallish percent, Devin with being at 68%, putting on a lot of damage from Sonic Fiend, trying to just, wow, take Squirtle up to the Blast Zone. Yeah, now this is really scary for Devin 3000 because if he doesn't get, you know, one of those squirrel strings soon, then Sonic V can totally take this game just like uh, right away, you know. If, if you, Sonic V could just like be able to totally avoid combos, um, it's really easy for Sonic to get chip damage. But looks like Devin 3000 did manage to get a big string, and now it is even. Ooh, and the F Smash sending onto the other side of the stage with 101% on right now. This left side situation is looking very favorable for Devin, but not gonna get that up smash right there. Is gonna get that downer, not gonna kill just yet, but we are in a scrapping situation right now. We yeah. are trying to see these two hit their buttons, and is that fair gonna kill? It absolutely is with the very last hit of that fair from Sonic, with Sonic Queen being at a 111% when they get hit by up smash, and that up smash is going to take it, putting them back to a very even position. What a and great, like, 15 seconds of gameplay right there. They totally were just running into each other, both killing each other back to back. In this game, no one has been able to hold the lead for more than a few seconds. It's been so back and forth. Everyone's Absolutely. just hitting each other. And that also just speaks to, you know, both of their disadvantage, a lot of the situations where they are at, where they are, you know, like off stage or they are, you know, getting hit at ledge, it mostly ends into a kill and that's not good. They definitely, I feel like both of them, you know, can equally work on, you know, their disadvantage, especially at ledge. But that down tilt isn't going to take it, but we are seeing a situation where Devin is trying to control the pace of the match and especially, you know, the pace of this last stock right here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Devin 3000 might have been realizing that homing attack kind of gets invalidated from that if you're hitting, doing it from the side and held that flame breath. And this is scary right here. You gotta avoid the Sonic F smash. Ow. Super last hit, super even stuff. Absolutely. Oh. Ooh, that F smash on the other side looking a little bit like crazy DI right there. Ooh, that could have been so bad if, you know, Sonic Fiend missed their tech right there. F throw, doing nothing in this game. You know, we haven't actually seen 
a flare blitz oh. from Devin, and that is a really good F throw to actually take off that stock right there. And I was just mentioning that, you know, as, as much as like you normally see at least the Charizard go for Flint, we haven't really seen that from Devin. Yeah, I think Sonic's a character that has like the speed to totally punish flare blitz no matter when you do it, whenever. So I think mm -hmm. Devin 3000. He played that last stock super patiently, just neutral get up shielding. Because even if Sonic were to, um, on the last stock, uh, Devin 3001 by just neutral get up shielding, because even if Sonic did grab, it wasn't going to end up as a stock. Your Charizard, you're living for a good while. Um, and Sonic Fiend kind of broke the patience first, and that's why he lost. He went for a raw up smash call out, super all or nothing, and most of the time that up smash is not hitting. It's only hitting jump, really. So mm -hmm. he only covered one out of four options and end up getting punished because of that. Mm -hmm. And we are actually going to Small Battlefield. I definitely really love this pick Pokemon from Sonic Fiend. Fiend. Just you know, a normal PS2, but with a smaller, you know, kind of area to play with, almost like Smashville. Very small, but has those two platforms to give them both very good advantages. Yeah, and with the playstyle of Sonic Fiend, you know, some Sonics probably might not like this stage, you know, they want mm -hmm. as much space to set up their spin dashes and stuff. But I think Sonic Fiend, dude, with his style, he wants to be able to have low space so that he can use Sonic's burst tools to immediately speed and get in there and get mm -hmm. out. You know, so he's not going to be camping, really. He wants to instead use Sonic Speed for aggression. Absolutely, and that we're kind of, that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Put on 79% to Devin, and right now we're just seeing a climb. Not really too much did in return, and I really like a lot of the way that they're actually using a lot of their aggressive options to get back onto stage. Ooh, this is uh, scary. Good switch to Ivysaur, but what a roll read from Sonic Bean right there. Absolutely, taking off that first stock right there, and now we're kind of just see a situation where Sonic Team plays at the same game yeah, that they were playing a little bit a second ago. And if Sonic Team could hold on to the stock for even just a little bit, it would be like the most significant lead we've seen this set, really, because last game was so back and forth to the last hit. So, look at this. Oh, what a win. <laughs> Oh, and um, Devin 3000 just opted for an F tool right there. But if you do not know, Sonic landing on the ground after a homing attack is very laggy. I'm pretty confident he could have up smashed or like done a raw bear. He had more time to do something than just that. But 84% already. Really good stuff from Sonic Fiend. Mm -hmm. We're definitely seeing Devin struggle to be a little bit of the aggressor right here, especially Charizard. Charizard being really slow, but being the only one who can primarily take off this stock just entirely. Ooh. Well, Charizard actually is like one of the 10th fast, like the top 10 fastest characters when it comes to ground speed. He's not very slow, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he has a very fast ground speed, at least. I know that much. But. Nothing compares to Sonic Speed, <laughs> as you see right oh, there. Oh god, I love seeing the player, oh, the player camp from Sonic Fiend. Okay, trying to get out of the corner right now, and we are gonna see that death right there. So we're in another situation where, you know, Devin is a stock down, and this could be really bad. And the thing that, you know, Sonic Fiend is trying to play to. This is, uh, yeah, I think right here, going to Ivysaur. The thing about Ivysaur is, as good as um, the straights can be in other matchups, I just can't see how that character's came down uh, Sonic. So switching to Charizard again, I think this is kind of uh, Devin's kind of hoping for a miracle character almost you know you want to be able to just like live super long then be able to like cheese the last stock after taking the first uh, the second one potentially but already 102 percent completely lapped and Sonic Fiend holding down this ledge pressure Ooh, back throw not gonna take it just entirely yet but we've been seeing Devin getting punished for a lot of those flame breaths but not gonna get punished using that up smash to actually take out that stock. And right now, we can see, you know, Devin make a pretty good comeback if. Ooh. Okay. Not gonna get that grab. Gonna get hit back off stage. And. Oh. It was weird, but it worked. Yeah. 
Um, I think uh, M2000 is a very unique way of using Flame Breath. I quite like it. Mm -hmm. Especially against Sonic, you know, a character that, like, has the ability to, like, close in space so fast. It doesn't matter how fast you are, there's a constant hitbox out. But, what a strong back air killing Charizard center stage right there. And that's gonna be an even game. I really like Sonic Seed stuff. This was kind of what I was talking about the first game of if Sonic can get a stock, it could be so, or stock lead, it could be so rough. And we saw mm -hmm. that right there, just never able to close the gap enough after that lead. Absolutely. It was just super hard, especially since, you know, couldn't really take too much percent without actually, you know, trying to use some of their best moves. So it was just definitely really hard for Devin. You know, seeing a lot of situations like that where they, um, not entirely with something, but miss it, and, you know, Sonic Team just kind of punishes them. And again, that's exactly where I was kind of talking about with, you know, Sonic Team using that... What is it? Uh, what is it? Oh, what? homing attack. There we homing go. Sorry. Attack, yes. Yeah, homing attack to actually punish those flame breaths a little bit above. Same characters on the board. We're going to FD. Now, this is where uh, Devin won the first game, so I don't blame, this, uh, blame him for the switch. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, I think with how their play styles are going, it's going to be really beneficial for Devin to, like, have no platforms to try and, like, keep the pressure of Sonic's, um, to pressure Sonic's landings more, especially with how much Sonic kind of likes to do stuff from the air, and more space than small battlefield. I love how Devin has been trying to trade with a lot of the spin dashes, especially being Squirtle, you know, trying to get their damage as best as they can. Haven't been doing too much, but they do have some queen at 43% and trying to find their way to actually start the combos, which they're getting right now, putting on 69%. Ooh. Oh. Not going to do too much with that edge guard right there, but going to try their best to get back on the stage right yeah. now. And uh, I like the switch. Got a little bit of mileage with the Ivysaur, but realized you cannot contest Sonic in the neutral very well with this character. Close stuff. That fair might have been the end of it. Now, Sonic Feed currently down by 0.1%. Not after that homing attack, though. Ooh, and very nice call out on the high recovery right there from, you know, Devin seeing that Sonic Fiend overshot just a little bit and chose to kill. Yeah, that was a really, really good up there um, from Charizard. And now that could, like, that's a lot of momentum going in for Devin. You know, you feel confident after getting a read like that. Absolutely. But I will say, um, these landing dares, I feel like have not been giving Devin and mileage. I like right there. I really haven't seen him land too many. And Sonic Spin Dash, it's going to be able to react to that landing there and whiff punish it pretty much 10 out of 10 times, which is what we were seeing. So I think um, just empty landing with Charizard could be a lot more beneficial. Absolutely. And very good use of Flame Breath right there, stopping. Sonic King from approaching. We've been it's been a little bit weird that the way that you know Devin uses flame breath, but it's been working out pretty well for him. Ooh, Ooh and a very rough call out right there. Trying to see if Devin would stay in the same position, but not gonna give it to him just yet. And we're seeing Devin at 186%, while we're just seeing Sonic King struggle to kill. And this is, you know, again the matchup. Whoever gets the lead first is definitely taking the lead right now, and that's very nice call out onto the landing right there. Wow. And that spring is going to actually take that shot. Yeah, not being ready to tech that. You gotta be kind of on point when you know Tom's gonna be springing at such a high percent. Now we're seeing Razor Leaf come out and immediately switching off. Pretty much no Ivy Swords have played this entire set. And once again, uh, really where Devin's been losing and taking a lot of damage that he doesn't have to is on these landings. Right there, opting to use the second jump, mix it up a bit. Good stuff. But almost an even game right here. Alright. Seeing Sonic Queen make it uh, making up the position just a little bit more. Just wondering if they can actually take off this stock just entirely soon because that's exactly what they need to put themselves oh. back into the game. And I think that F-Smash was with the hopes of with punishing the landing there. And, well, he did it a second time. He did it the second time, and there it worked. 
Devin, this habit of landing with Nair nearly every time with Charizard is really coming back to bite him because I think Sonic Beats caught on to it. Uh, I think it was very clear with that S match. He has caught on to Devin's landing habits, and that's what's able to get him the percent uh, to get him to close the percent gap, and now got him the lead. Not gonna get too much off of that edge guard, but sending Sonic Queen right back off stage. We need to see Devin take the stock just entirely soon. Okay. Putting on a little bit more damage than we're seeing from right now. Just kind of, you know, waiting a little bit. We saw, you know, Sonic Queen a little bit in Devin's faces, but just taking the time to just wait a little bit because, you know, just needing to notice that. They just need to wait a little bit, you know? Yeah, especially against Ivysaur. You know, against Ivysaur, the only way that character is going to hit Sonic is if you don't respect them enough. And Sonic Freak showing the respect Ivysaur needs, just staying back. That was almost looking like it was really hard if Sonic Freak would have been able to make that. Oh. And fortunately enough for Devin, was at that perfect spacing where he didn't have to bounce off the stage, but he just grabbed the Electric Flare Blitz. Um, so no punish coming out, but... 108% right now, Sonic Queen still on the second stock. We've been seeing a lot of situations where Sonic Queen will use homing attack on Devin's shield, but not really getting too much of a punish out of it. Just, you know, understanding I feel like they knew that that's exactly what Sonic Queen wanted to do. Oh. But, not getting it just yet, but that is going to be the up smash taking, or the up air, sorry, taking that stock. Yeah, um... Definitely a bit of a lucky break for Devin right there. Wow, recovery just managed to hit Sonic Feed. Um, maybe that was intentionally done early to catch the spring, but who could say? And going for it all with that down here. Can't totally blame him, but Charizard, you know, you got cheese. You don't have to totally force things. But that fair will do it. And that's going to be a good win for Sonic Feed, you know. Even though he was down and that might spell a recipe for disaster. He was able to adapt totally and catch Devin in the air and know exactly what Devin's doing in the air. And that's where he got all his kills, all his damage mm -hmm. starting. Like, just totally kind of had a download, honestly. Absolutely. Very nice game from both of these players and Sonic Queen being victorious. Ooh, okay. So, next set.